A long-awaited construction project is nearing the end of the road. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi tells us when you can expect 6th Avenue to be reopened and why the project took so long. The construction on 6th Avenue has taken two years to complete, and although it looks done, city engineers say there are still some finishing touches until it can be used. The city says the construction of what was this two-lane rural road is on track to open in a couple of weeks. We brought it now up to what we call an urban standard. It's now three lanes with sidewalks, storm sewers, and storm drainage, and so it's a, a great improvement from where it was uh, a few years ago. But original plans say the project was supposed to be finished this past Monday. The project's had a few hiccups. A water main broke and a gas line leaked both in August of 2017. We still have some overlay to put down on the final top lift of asphalt. We still have final regulatory signs, the stop signs, street name signs, speed limit signs. Those need to be in place. We do still have some sodding work, some restoration on, uh, between the, on the back of the curbs. And then we still have some manhole regrades left. The city is allowing residents to use the intersection of Westchester and 6th Avenue on the west side of Gage Park while the road is completed. Some people who work around the construction are looking forward to the completion as well. I don't have a vehicle. I take the bus to and from work, and that has displaced me getting to work for about a year and a half now. And I'm ex very excited about the bus getting back open. <laughs> In Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. Now, there will also be a new pedestrian crossing to give access to Gage Park. When